Hi, I'm Ellen Gerstein, and you're watching the Venom Vlog. I play Mrs. Manfredi in the Sony feature Venom that comes out October 5th, 2018. I'm also an independent filmmaker, and Seek was kind enough to put a link in his description box to one of my short films called Come Away With Me. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're continuing our look into the Venom Along Came a Spider graphic novel, which features a lot of miniseries and short stories in it. So we've already gone over two of the short stories, which was the Christmas story and also the first story with Hybrid. And I apologize on the episode, I was kind of all over the place I trying to remember that book. So this one I made sure for this episode, I reread it right before filming too, just so it was fresh in my mind. Because the hybrid stuff, like it's, you know, I, I kind of got lost in it. Like Scott, uh, Scott Washington is our main character and I didn't mention that till like towards the end of that last episode so again I apologize that's what these discussions are though sometimes they're planned sometimes they're not I don't like to script things I like to you know part of this show is you know me recovering it after recovering years ago from a brain aneurysm and still dealing with stuff I, I like to test my memory so sometimes I get things wrong or I, I, I speak out of term or you know whatever or I embellish on some things um, that's just part of me learning and I rewatch these episodes sometimes and if someone points something out like hey you got this wrong or you did this and then I look back and I go okay you know what I'll try to remember better I'll try to to get better at this so there's more to this than just making videos for me it's also a practice in you know and trying to improve my memory and other things uh, so in that last episode I was kind of all over the place with Scott so in this one I wanted to pay a little bit more respect to him because I, I do like the character and I actually was like you know what this is a neat concept and it's one that uh, I can see why it has its fans out there for this character. So um, even though it's like a, a smaller fan base, it's still a very passionate one, and I can definitely appreciate that. So um, in this Along Came a Spider, we talked about the titular title, Along Came a Spider, which was a four-issue miniseries. We did that in our first episode this week. And then in the second episode, we talked about Hybrid, like his first introduction, where he was basically a guardsman. Uh, he worked for, you know, like a group that was studying the four remaining life symbiotes, the Life Foundation symbiotes. So you had Phage, Agony, Lasher, and Riot. They were all merged together into a red and brown symbiote that became Hybrid, and it merged with Scott, who was at that time a guardsman who then got shot by a guy who broke in and shot his brother, killed his brother, and shot him and paralyzed him. So he was in a wheelchair, much like Flash Thompson, and then he bonded with suit and he was able to stand in walk again so um i like that i thought it was cool and this i feel like this is a nice precursor to what we're going to get into next season with all the flash thompson stuff so uh so scott here has now been running around he has his best friend is vance who is the leader of the new warriors team that was out in the 90s i think this was around the time that scarlet spider joined the team or right after scarlet spider was no longer on the team i think and uh, and so the new warriors were looking to recruit and they want to recruit scott but scott is like hey look i have these symbiotes i can't fully control them yet uh, sometimes they keep me in check sometimes I keep them in check but there's four vo or five voices now in my head and it's it's a lot to deal with and so for that reason I don't think it's good that I sign up but I'll still try to go out there and do the right thing and help people so while he goes out there and he's trying to fight crime he actually gets lured into a trap by his former guardsmen members and they bring him in and they shoot him with like you know sound blasts and everything and they knock him to the ground and they actually recapture Scott pretty early on in this short story and uh, but meanwhile a piece of the symbiote gets away and it goes and finds his friend Dwight who we talked about in the last episode who said hey I'll help you on your mission I'll help give you information and uh, you know we'll, we'll get you out there we'll get you out there saving people and things like that so Dwight's back at his lab like you know trying to work on some things for Scott and wondering where he was hey he hasn't checked in yet and then this little piece of the symbiote shows up and it kind of informs him what's going on so Dwight contacts the new warriors and they use the piece of the symbiote to track down where Scott is because it's like it can you know it knows where the rest of it is so it kind of leads them back to where they need to go so it's yeah it's pretty really well done really tight storyline um evan uh, skolnick once again writing this short story i'm not too familiar with evan's work but he did a really good job on these two miniseries uh and then jim califor is actually the artist which i can almost tell right away even though it's early jim califor i i still recognize his art because sometimes he draws little mouths with in people with like wider faces so sometimes i can tell his style uh, just from like little things like that and like body proportions and stuff so um 
yeah, they bring the suit over and the new warriors decide, you know what, we're going to go save this guy. Vance is like, please team, do it as a favor to me. This guy's a friend of mine, even though he's a symbiote. And, you know, we've had Venom and Carnage and, and the Planet of the Symbiotes and all that invasion stuff. Uh, but this guy, he's a good guy deep down. So let's go try to save my friend. So that's what they do. And so when they get there, the symbiote's actually being pulled in four different directions. It's actually being separated. But Scott fights back and he's able to break free with the, you know, the help of the symbiote. So when he does, he finds this guardman who used to give him a hard time and uh, who he believes isn't a good person. He believes the guardsmen overall and this corporation aren't good people. So he grabs him and he's like getting ready to snap his neck. He's fighting everybody off. And that's when the new warriors show up and like, Scott, don't do this. You know, take control. And he's like, look, it's not the, just the suit. It's me. I want to do this. I think this guy's a bad guy. And the suit is feeding off that emotion. So it's not just the suit that wants to do this. It's doing it because I want to do it. And they're like, well, what can we do? How do we help you get control back? You know, after they knock out all the bad guys and stuff, it's just them and the leader of this organization and some of the other guardsmen. And they're like, don't kill him, you know, like stand down, you know, we'll put, if he dies, you die kind of thing. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to send the suit in, wrap around his mind, and I'm going to look at his memories. And I always love this. I love this power from the symbiote that it can bond with you temporarily and see your memories uh, because memories are such, you know, I, I'm, I'm so maybe it's just because I'm so fascinated with memories because for a long time I, I had no memories and they've kind of slowly come back in bits and pieces throughout the years. Um, you, where are memories? How are they stored? You know, there's so many questions. And so having a life form like a symbiote that can access that and to pull that information out of you or pull those memories out of you is really neat and share those uh, memories and put those memories into someone else's mind. Uh, you know, all of Peter Parker's memories went right into Eddie Brock and, and instantly connected them in a way to where Eddie was like, this is personal. I know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man instantly now and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill Peter Parker and Spider-Man, you know, like they're the same guy, but I'm going to go after him from both sides. And uh, I thought that was great. So using this power and seeing it like this is fantastic. I thought uh, Skolnick did a great job writing this uh, this scene here because uh, you know Hybrid is trying to figure out is this Curtis guy, this guy who was you know kind of gave him a hard time you know when they were guardsmen together, is he a good person? And so they go and look in his mind and they see like this time where like, you know, he had like a, he was like laughing and joking with other people. They show him like being very normal human being, but they show him like have anger issues at times too. And what's neat is that he's a very, it's, it's, he's a very gray area. It's like, it's normally in these situations like, oh, he's a bad guy, kill him, or he's a good guy, whatever. In this one, the suit actually says, and it's great because all the different colors of the symbiote have their own caption boxes, uh, which I love, and they're finishing each other's sentences, which is fantastic. So the letterer on that did a fantastic job. And the suit's basically telling him, all, all the voices are going, uh, Curtis is like you, Scott. He's angry, and he's a flawed man, but he's not a bad man. And, uh, and so for that reason, like we're not going to let you, in your anger, force us to, to kill him. And so, uh, so when Scott hears this he's like okay and he lets curtis go and he says you know curtis you gave me a hard time and i just assumed you were a bad person working with this organization organization and everything so i i just assumed the worst of you and he goes and that was unfair because you guys all assumed the worst of me now that i'm in the suit and i i it's like seeing where your enemy's coming from and you just don't get a lot of stories like that nowadays and you didn't get a ton of them in the 90s around this point either and i gotta commend evan for at least, you know, whether you like it overall or not, to have this through line of emotion with these characters and to have a learning experience with the characters learning from their villains. Um, I like that. I like when stories do that. And I like the admission that we're not all just black or white, bad or good people. We we screw up. We make mistakes throughout our life. And are those mistakes worth, you know, being punished for? Uh, that's the question. And in this case, you know, Scott's like, I don't want to punish you, or at least the punishment's not death. So uh, I'm going to let you go, Curtis. And everyone stands down, and then Vance comes in as the leader of the New Warriors, and he calms, you know, the tension. He's like, all right, everyone, you know, calm down. Don't blast my friend. You know, let him let him leave. Um, you know, this is all, you know, you guys captured him. He fought back. Nobody died. Let's just call this a wash. And, uh, and, and you know, and you guys got to work on your practices. Uh, don't try to kidnap this alien life form and experiment on it again and try to use it for your own weapons or, or personal needs. And so the guy who's in charge is like, yeah, fine, I'll do, you know, I'll do that. And Vance is like, good, I'm going to make sure you do. Like, so the new warriors are like, we're going to keep an eye on this corporation now. And then they turn to Hybrid and they're like, Scott, do you want to join the team? We've mentioned it a couple times and you kind of came on as a temporary member and you helped us out a few times. But, uh, you know, do you want to be a full-time member? And Scott even says at the end, he's like, I can't. He's like, 
there is, I do have control issues uh, with this, with my own anger and with the symbiote. And I have five voices prattling around my voice and four others in my head. So I have a lot to deal with. I have a lot of issues. So for that reason, I'm going to bow out for now, but you know, keep my number, uh, you know, around and maybe one day um, when I get control, I can join you guys. So yeah, it even ended on a pretty positive note and you got to see some of the new warriors fly away with, with uh, Scott and everything. So yeah, overall, I thought this was fun. I like these two short stories. I think hybrid's a neat character. I think Evan Skolnick, who wrote these, did a really great job. I would love to see if he's still out there writing. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I would love to see him come back and do like a hybrid short story at some point, like in an annual or something. Uh, that would be awesome. I have to try to track that guy down and see if he's still out there somewhere. Maybe try to interview him about this if he remembers. Because a lot of these guys, they take these jobs and they, you know, they're like, oh, which story was that again? Uh, but I, I hopefully he has some cool insight on this character and what he wanted to do with him. And hopefully Marvel, uh, you know, reprinting this. Uh, maybe enough fans will make enough noise and we can see something happen with this character again, even if it's set in the past, because obviously I don't think we can have these characters in the present anymore because of something that happens we'll, we'll get into in the Flash Thompson stuff and everything. But, uh, but it, you know, otherwise, you know, or no, not Flash Thompson. It was before that, Carnage USA, we already talked about it. The suits got re-split up again and uh, and sent out on, you know, attached to different soldiers. So, uh, yeah, hybrid is no more, unfortunately. But it was still a cool concept and, uh, you know, I'd love to see what they do with with uh, with these characters and hopefully bring them back at some point someday so let me know what you think in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts on this uh, are you a fan of hybrid did you like this story do you have the along came a spider graphic novel yet because we've been talking about it all week and we only got one story left to talk about so make sure you pick it up today whether in print at your local comic store or online or buy it digitally uh, that's available on comiXology thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace